Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to be talking about the elephant in the room. This thing right here. <laughs> Disclaimer, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a doctor, I'm not anybody in that medical field. I'm just saying this from my perspective, from what I'm going through, and that's it. So you guys might have seen or will see some videos with this thing making an appearance. And sometimes it's not really making an appearance, but it's there. So this thing is called Zeo, and it's used to monitor your heart. I got it because I don't really want to get into it right now, but I do have a lot of heart problems, and it started when I got really, really, really sick with COVID. And I know some of you guys, I don't want to start anything. I know some of you guys believe in COVID, others don't, but I do because it happened to me, and I was miserable, and so let me just tell you about this device. So people use this device whether they have heart problems because of something or since they were children or whatnot, but it's used to monitor your heart. So my doctor and the doctor who put this with the nurse told me that it's called a prescription because it doesn't have medicine, but it does help detect your heart and your heart rhythm to see if you have anything from technocardia tectocardia I think that's what it's called to heart failure or whatnot so again I'm personally using this because I have heart problems and it's gonna help my doctor see what exactly is going on with my heart other people might get it because they've had problems since they were little or they started having problems or complications with their hearts and sometimes um, the doctors just want to monitor the heart and they leave this on for you within 7 or 14 days. It just depends on whatever the doctor wants. This is called a CO and as you can see it's a patch. Um, this other patch that I have on top, my sister and my brother-in-law gave it to me. They had a little bit of extras of these and it's just to protect the device so I can go ahead and take a shower. Um, this is the device and every time you feel a symptom or you feel your heart do whatever you know that it's doing you press it here in the middle so you when you press this it makes like a little kind of clicking sound because that's all you're doing you're clicking on this and that just helps the people that are gonna read uh, your results so the doctors that get it to see like oh, okay um, the patient pressed it like right it makes that little noise sorry I really had to press it so that's the noise it makes um, but yes this device sends those readings over to the doctor and the doctor analyzes them and says okay so this is what we found and they let you the patient know what's going on with your heart and what's gonna happen from there so another neat thing is that this is called a uh, zeal of course and they have an app that's called a My Zeo, and you can open your app and it lets you log in symptoms. Um, and it tells you when did you experience the symptoms and you put down the date, whatever it is, and then you press next. And then it tells you like, oh, what are you feeling? It has a list of things there, click on it. And then once you click on like some of them, you put next. And then it tells you how long like the symptom duration was was it 10 minutes an hour less than an hour more than an hour a minute then you press next and then you press um you go ahead and put notes so it has a place where you can put your notes of what you were feeling so let me exit out of this one because i just wanted to show you guys okay so i find that very neat um, just in case you have the time to log in your symptoms, let them know exactly what you're feeling, how you're feeling. Sometimes, like me, I don't have my phone on me and I can't go get the app and log in every symptom or I'm feeling symptoms throughout the day that are very frequent and I just don't want to have to do anything with my phone or whatnot. So I click this and it automatically sends it over. So I find that kind of convenient and inconvenient because you're not going to have, if you're in a lot of pain, you're not going to have that time to go into the app and then log in every sim, done, click on everything. Whenever you have the chance to do so, you can do it and you can go back, uh, you can backdate it and put like, find the date, put whatever you felt. But I don't know, it's 50-50 for me. What I like is that you can press it and it sends that signal straight over. So then when the doctor gets it, they can read whatever you're feeling that time. They know that you press that button that exact same time. That's what I really like, that I think it's very convenient. So a little process of how they put this on. 
It might vary, but this is, again, my experience. When we got in the room, they went ahead and they told me what they were going to do, and they started doing it. So, first and foremost, they cleaned my area. After they cleaned my area, they went in ahead and told me, you know what, um, this is going to probably hurt, we just need to do this, and it's basically going to shave off your skin. It's like a, a stone, kind of rough thing, um, kind of like the ones that they use for like the feet for the calluses and all of that. Um, so they used that all over here in my area and they literally shaved off my skin. And immediately right after, they get like an alcohol wipe, or I don't know what it is, and they start cleaning your area again. And they told me, you know what, I'm so sorry, this is gonna burn, this is gonna hurt you, but we have to do it. And immediately started doing it after they shaved that area with that stone, like pumice stone. And they put that alcohol wipe or um, whatnot, whatever it was that, to cleanse my area and it was burning it was stinging so bad um i didn't really expect it to sting that bad but it did so they told me okay um we're gonna go ahead and place this and they did they placed it and they kind of held it there for a little bit and they told me you know what you can't shower in 24 hours we just want this to stick to your skin so please make sure you don't shower in those 24 hours after that you can do your normal activity you can literally do whatever you do on your regular daily basis so i was like okay sounds good um they told me to not get it wet if i get it wet that i have to contact customer service and they gave me this little box and then they have the customer care phone number here and they also told me you know what um please don't get rid of that box because you're going to use that box to send it back to us so we can read the results and send them to your doctor so if you're gonna go get one of these don't throw away the box don't misplace it because it's very important especially if you want to know what's going on with your heart so I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna open this <laughs> it even says keep this box keep it so inside it has a little booklet like this I'm covering all of this because it has my personal information and then it just says like CEO says seal that they have an app um, things that you should look for and then it says patient instructions it lets you read what you're going to be doing um, how the patch is going to be worked on basically that you're going to have to push it if you feel any symptom or whatnot it just keeps on going and then it tells you like little things like um uh if I don't have the symptoms, that's okay um, because it records everything. If you have the symptoms and you forget to press it, it's okay. They get to read the results. Um, you can take a shower after, but make sure you don't like emerge it in like water or whatnot. You can do your normal activity. Of course, it has a warning that if you have anything that's going seriously wrong with you or whatnot to go to the hospital. And then it has this little thing that's basically the app so when you get this you have a choice of either using the app or using this booklet so it's the exact same thing that you're gonna see in your app but you get to do it in your app in your phone you don't have to get a pen and write it all down here it varies on you you can use your app or your booklet but you have to use one of them not both of them one of them just little things like that and then at the end of the booklet it has like a survey questionnaire thing that you have to send in when you send your device it has uh, an adhesive tape remover um, and it shows you what to do when you're about to remove your your patch and it shows you how to remove your patch and it has that survey and then it tells you like oh put your patch here and seal it I'm gonna see if I can show you guys that Put your patch here and then you seal it off put it inside this box take it to your nearest post office and then they take it from there after that you just wait for your doctor to give you a call and let you know what they found so this of course i like that it's convenient because you get to press it what i find kind of 50 50 like i said is the app that you have to log in every symptom if you want to but to me I do both but it's kind of tricky sometimes so I usually do the push the button another thing I don't know if you guys can see it's like so it's been really horrible I'm not gonna lie to you guys so it's been very horrible because it's been very 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 severely itchy to the point that I just want to take this patch off but I'm not because I am not 
But I don't know if you guys can see. It's like I've broken into hives. And then they go away. And then they start coming back again. And then under this like patch thing. It's like really irritated. I already feel it like super badly burning. So it's been itching really badly since I got it. And it's just progressively getting worse. I just have to suck it up for a little bit more. So final thoughts guys. I like this CO device. It's convenient that you can either write in the book or use the app. Um, I like that you can write down your symptoms, what you're feeling, how long you felt them. So I like that it's convenient that you can press it and it logs whatever you're feeling at that time and records it. Of course it's recording 24 seven, so you don't have to worry about that. The thing that I like is that you can literally, once you're done, put it in there, seal it, take it to your post office and you're done with it. My cons about this is that for me, it's been severely itchy and severely burning that I break into a rash and into hives. It gets really bad. So that's my only con to this. You get to log in your app or in the booklet, but if you forget to do one of those logs, as long as you press this, they got you. They will see whatever you felt if it shows up in your test results. But thank you guys so much again. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions about this device, leave it down in the comments section below and I'll try and get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a good evening, morning, night, wherever you're at. Until next time. Bye guys.